Hi there, bling. So I wasn't planning on filming today, so excuse the face. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, you know what, I might as well, if I'm gonna dye my hair, I might as well film it because you guys always ask me to, you know, do a video of me dyeing my hair. I don't know, I guess people like it because, yeah, I like it too, so why not? So yeah, earlier I did a strand test and this is the results. And I posted this on Instagram and a lot of you really liked it and encouraged me to uh, do the rest of my head. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now. And this is the color I did earlier. This is the sample for the strand. And yeah, I'm just going to try to create this color again. And yeah! <laughs> so I used La Riche Directions hair dye. This is the hair dye that I always use and I'm using it in lilac. And I'm gonna be using any cheap white conditioner. This is the one I have on hand right now. L'Oreal Hair Expertise Nutri Sleek Conditioner. Yeah, awesome. Doesn't matter because I probably got it for like $2 or something. So, um, usually I would try to get about 300 um, ml of the conditioner. So I'm gonna just squeeze it in. My hair is pink already, so you know, to get purple or lilac, you need pink and blue or red and blue, whatever. Um, so that's why I had to do a test strand because I wasn't sure if um, the hair dye I got would cancel the pink out. I mean, cancel the purple out because I do have like purple undertones in my pink hair, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't sure how I was gonna go, so that's why I did a test strand. But, I don't know, I guess it just layered over it like it was not there to begin with. If you haven't watched my other video where I did my pink hair, then I would just suggest you to uh, bleach your hair until it's sort of like pale white, pale white, pale yellow or white and then tone it to like a silver or even more white and then you put on the lilac hair dye. Yeah. Okay, so I just have a little bit less than uh, 300, about uh, maybe 250, 275. I do have more white conditioner, but uh, I just remember last time I dyed my hair, I had a lot of extra uh, hair dye. So um, we'll see if maybe like 250 ml will be enough for me this time and then I'll just proceed with that and people are talking about oh why aren't you doing your roots blah 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 uh, I think it's time for you to do your roots I don't really want to I don't really know what I want to do with my hair I kind of want to grow it out but I kind of want to keep the pink and um, for me with bleached hair it's easier if it's just short and it doesn't grow or it kind of it gets damaged and it kind of breaks off so yeah <laughs> so okay um, I measured this before each scoop is about uh, 5 ml so I'm gonna do one and I'm just gonna keep going and I'll let you guys know how much I do in the end so to start off I did seven scoops so seven scoops of 5 ml is 35 ml for those who can't multiply so this is the sample and this is what I have so far. So if I want to get this color to get this color, then I would have to go a bit deeper. Uh, so I added an additional three scoops. So total is 50 ml so far. And hopefully this will be enough. So I did about three more scoops and I'm just gonna keep going. So I think I did 15 scoops so far. I mean, um, you would just have to experiment, like do a test strand like I did, and then from that just determine if you need to go darker or put not as much and whatnot. So yeah. So I put another two inside. So I know like my although my hair is short, it is actually quite thick. And I every time I go to like a hairdresser, they're very surprised at like how much hair I actually have, and I'm like, yeah. I have a shit ton of hair, so... Alright, still, this one's still a bit a little darker, so... I'll, I'll just add three scoops, make it 20. 
Yeah. So I added three scoops and I'm just gonna keep mixing. Uh, so on the on camera it looks like it's sort of the same-ish, uh, but it seems like this is still a bit darker and at this point I kind of don't care so I'm just going to mix the sample in with uh, the rest of the hair dye. So once you're ready to dye your hair, grab some clips and some gloves and prepare to start dyeing. Not the theta one, the color one. Yeah. So for me, I like to divide my hair in half first and then I make it in half again. So I have four areas. Well, actually I have five areas because uh, this top part, I have a shit ton of hair up here, so uh, this is one section on its own. Yeah. But uh, I'm just gonna divide top and bottom first. So the most important thing is just make sure everything's well saturated because you don't want some parts to um, not take in the color because then it will be really blotchy and whatnot. So right now I'm totally not doing that. <laughs> I'm just like smearing it on in hopes that it will not be blotchy. But um, I think it will be. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that. Then I'm gonna move on to this side. So I'm not sure if it's um, easier for it to go lilac because it's pink. Um, I don't know, oh my god. <laughs> um oh god I got over my boob. shower camp and wait mm, I don't know how long I'm gonna wait maybe 30 minutes an hour two hours you'll see when I edit the video but yeah um so these are the results and actually this is after two washes um, I'll put pictures of um, what it looked like right after but yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with it and it's actually a lot easier to maintain This like lavender lilac hair than it is to maintain pink hair and I'm really really surprised and um I don't know if I super love it or not. Um, it's different and I was getting bored of pink hair So yeah, I, I really like it and um, I am getting my hair done next month. Um, I'm gonna go to see Raymond again, my hairstylist from NC Plus Salon and yeah I cannot wait because um, I do want to grow my hair out but he was very concerned that it would that my hair would look very weird as it's growing out because obviously it's such like a harsh transition like black and then like you know bleached crazy colored hair uh, so um, I think he wants to do like an ombre, but um, we'll see what he's gonna do and obviously I'm gonna be bringing you guys along But yeah until then I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, we did another crazy hair 
color milestone and you guys got to experience that with me so yeah bye